Hey, what is going on, everybody? Today, I just wanted to make a quick video, uh, you know, to upload to my channel because I have not uploaded in a little bit, and you know, I do make sure to upload at least one video a week. I try to do that. Uh, it's getting harder to do that with school being around, but I will make sure I am uploading for you guys, uh, 100%. I, I'm not gonna leave this channel. I will keep uploading them. All right. So basically, as you saw from the title, this video is, you know, my reasonings for why I have why I have belief for you know cross play not really cross play but the cross between fortnite save the world and battle royale so my first reasoning which is kind of small obviously is the whole cube thing that's going on right now this is technically just a theory obviously but what my little theory is is the fact that uh, just the cube in general the uh, purple cube in general now as we saw uh there was a crack in the ceiling or, or the barrier whatever you want to call it in the sky right and it got smaller and smaller as it got smaller it became purple and lightning bolts came out of it and it basically in my i thought that it related to the storm and save the world right so because i thought it related to the storm and save the world i thought that there was a big chance that my theory that i started in season three was going to become true in which was that there would be a crossplay or husks would come into it or something uh you know in case you don't know what husks are, it's basically zombies. It's the zombies that are in Battle Royale, or in Save the World. So, you know, as it formed this cube, you know, the lightning struck down like crazy, and it made this big block. And this block is moving, and it has a, it has a design or a look to it that really makes me think of the storm or the husks, you know, in Save the World. Now, obviously, that is not enough at all to convince somebody, right? So here's my other reasonings. Now, the biggest one I probably have is this. Our skins that have just came out today. And from what I've been told, we have another one that's coming, which is going to be a ninja, that, which is also from Save the World, correct? Now, as you see, you know, she is not from Save the World, but this guy right here, Backbone, he is a character from Save the World. You know, that, you know he is a character from Save the World. Now here's another thing. This glider is not a save the world glider, but if you look real close to it, it says Plankerton right there, correct? If you look close to his back, it also said Plankerton. The cyclone, cyclone is Plankerton, right? Okay, let me go ahead and select game mode. I'm gonna switch to save the world to show you this real quick. So let's go to save the world. See, and if you look up over there on the top left, you can see, like, the purple lightning or whatever, you know. That's what I was talking about, the relevance, or the, you know, the similarities that it made me think of. So, if we look here, we can find the character. Let me go ahead and show you him real quick. So, right here, you can see him. His name is Steel Wool uh, Side, or whatever. That's him right there, obviously, right? Here's the thing. It said Plankerton, and right there, boom, Plankerton. Plankerton is a part of the map, or the world, whatever that you want to call it, that is in Save the World. Okay, now that's probably the biggest piece of evidence I have. Now, another good piece of evidence I have is, um, there's this guy, I would include his name if I re could recall his name, but I can't at the moment, so I apologize for that. But he's been leaking things for a while now. You know, I think I, I first heard of his leaks when Bright Gunner, before Bright Gunner came out. He was leaking Bright Gunner, you know? And so, you know, I was told by him at the end of Season 3 that Save the World would become free at some point, either the end of Season 5 or the beginning of Season 6. Now, I think that it will happen at maybe beginning Season 6. I think it will happen beginning Season 6. But I do believe that there will be a crossover between the two game modes, between Save the World and Battle Royale. It just makes a lot of sense, really. But those are my pieces of evidence. It's just, you know, I really feel as if them throwing in the Save the World skins at the end of the season, them throwing in this purple cube that reminds a lot of people of the storm, you know, them having the purple lightning bolts, you know, just all of this really, I feel like, ties up to Save the World, and I feel like they'll, they'll have them cross over or something, and then Save the World will become free, okay? So, uh, you know, I've been thinking of this since the end of season three. When the crack came in the sky, I was telling my friends about this. I was like, this is crazy theory, but what if this happened? Now we're coming to the end of the season, and, you know, my entire theory might be correct. But, uh, I don't know. We'll find out here in a little bit. Depends how all these videos by the time you're watching it. I might be correct, I might not. We'll find out. 
Alright, <laughs> that's the end of this video. I thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, go ahead and turn on those post notifications. I do do live, I do live streams over the weekends. Uh, I do maybe two, three. I do do, um, I do live streams. Of, uh, I do them for a while. Uh, I usually do giveaways. Uh, sometimes it's just you know for fun. Uh, the last giveaways I've done were for V Bucks. I have done some V Buck giveaways. I'm currently doing a giveaway right now. It is a Save the World giveaway. I'm doing a two 130 Grave Diggers and a 130. Nocturnal, both full durability. If you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't have to see the world, don't worry about it. You can still chill out in the live streams. You know, I'm playing Battle Royale on live streams. You know, both of them. It depends. But thank you guys so much, 100%. And I appreciate the support. You know, I have definitely hopped up in in subscribers efficiently. You know, 100%. And I thank everybody for that and for the support because it's crazy you know what i mean it's just it's insane and i just thank everybody for that because i had this channel at 32 subs and i'm now at 131 so i just thank everyone for that uh but let's keep growing you know what i mean but yeah guys thank you i'll see you all later